She's got humor. She's a giggle at a funeral. So just before we start, it's Hosier or Hosier? Yeah. Uh, Hosier. If the heavens ever did speak, she's the last true mouthpiece. So we've we've confirmed that it's Hosier. <coughs> yes. Did I say it right? Yes. Yeah. But yeah. you say it again. Uh, ho <laughs> Uh, hosier. Hosier. The only heaven I'll be sent to is when I'm alone with you. I was born sick, but I love it. You admitted that Take Me to Church is, is essentially about sex, but there's a deeper meaning. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go into... Yeah, it's about looking at, at, at sexuality or, or loving somebody as one of the more natural, kind of wonderful things you can do as a person. And um, I suppose the song for expresses a frustration with organizations that teach people to be ashamed of those aspects of themselves. So it teaches people to be ashamed of their either sexual orientation or um, of just their nature. No masters or kings when the ritual begins. So where did the concept for the video come from? It's based specifically on, on this on um, a rise of attacks that were going on in Russia after these these new laws which mm -hmm. uh, took away kind of the rights of free speech of, of people in the LGBT community. Um, and there was this kind of increase of, of these very organized attacks against very young LGBT member, uh, community members. And so the, the video references that. Babe, there's something tragic about you. Um, you write about a bunch of different subjects, love, sex, death, religion. Now what's one of the toughest ones for you to write about, which what's the most difficult to write about? I don't think there's, there's any one in particular which is, is super difficult. I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm not all that keen on, on talking about myself or, and certainly writing about myself. In that, in that way, I find it easier to kind of remove myself from, from the song a little bit. Think about it like, like characters. Something so magic about you, don't you agree? I have to say congratulations, You're, you've sold out your North American tour in 2015 already. So how does that feel as an artist? It's, it, feels, it feels good, it's a, it's a good feeling. It's, it's, more, it's more just puts you at ease, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm, I'm excited and like North America has been very, very supportive and, and kind. So I mean, I'm excited to come back and, and do more shows. What has been one of the best moments of 2014 for you so far? I have to say, doing Saturday Night Live as well was big. Like just being there was incredible. What was your favorite moment backstage at Saturday Night Live? Anything uh, funny happen? No, I, there was a few weird moments. Just, uh, Bill Hader was Bill Hader was, was was there, so like he was hosting obviously, and Christian Wake was there. But then like Paul Rudd was backstage, and Seth Rogen was backstage, and Zach Galifianakis was there. What? So, Steven Spielberg was backstage. So me, meeting, just meeting those people, those people yeah. yeah. And then as a, like you know what I mean? That's just nuts. Like that's kind of. Yeah, uh, so that that was that was crazy. I would have geeked out. I would. Did you geek yeah, out? A bit? I geeked out. Like <laughs> I haven't geeked out in a long, long time. Yeah, I geeked out. It was so cool to meet you. Thank you. I'm gonna come to the show at Massey Hall as well. It's gonna be amazing. Go 2015. It's already sold out, but you could probably find some tickets yeah. somehow online. Awesome. Cool. Thank you very, cool. very much. Thank you. Thank so you. nice Pleasure. to meet you. you. Thank you.